Hey guys, Rumblin' Man here, uh, coming to you today from Florida. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Uh, I wanted to make a video um, about a project I'm doing. So a lot of people don't know that I'm a worship leader, and uh, it's an honor to do so. Um, I'm very blessed to get to use the gifts that God has given me for His glory, and uh, obviously I have a passion for you know, gear and things like that, and I get to use that stuff for His glory too. So um, I'm really appreciative and thankful for that. I'm building a church pedal board and it's going to stay at the church to be the church pedal board. It's probably not going to travel around much. The reason is this. I um, I use a Line 6 kind of amp modeler uh, type device for uh, leading worship. I play electric guitar um, and we sometimes will have um, a backup electric guitar player. So, you know, I'll be up there, our acoustic player will be up there, vocals, drums, bass, some pads and backing tracks and then another electric guitar player serves with us quite often as well. And I saw another guy uh, on YouTube, another worship leader, I can't think of which channel it was right now, but he kind of went through the reasons that they had a, a worship ministries pedal board. You want to make sure that you have something at your church that sounds good in case somebody comes along who can play but doesn't necessarily have good effects of their own. Um, we actually at our church run everything direct. Uh, we don't do any live amps on stage. This is to control the sound because it's not a huge room. And uh, we use, uh, you know, there's one acoustic guitar and then everything else is electric, in-ear monitors. So we're very blessed in that department. We've really been blessed to, uh, to get to have those resources. So I wanted to put this together and obviously I needed something on it that could do some sort of amplifier simulation. And we've got that. So I want to say a couple things and then I'm just going to kind of show you what's going to be on the, uh, the church pedal board. One thing is this, I didn't have a gigantic budget for this, and so I put this church pedal board together for right around $300, um, and that's everything that I got for it. I'm just going to kind of walk through and show you what things I got and why I got them. Probably the nicest pedal that I ordered is going to be the TC Electronic Sky Surfer Reverb. Um, based on the videos I watched on YouTube and things I read about it, it seemed like it'd be great for worship music and also didn't cost an arm and a leg. So there it is. Haven't even opened it yet, but that's a very beautiful blue color. Um, it's got reverb, mix, tone, and I hope that I'll get to do a demo uh, review and everything of this pedal and hopefully every single one of these. So um, anyway, so the Sky Surfer is going to be our source of reverb and in worship music and really in most styles of music for electric guitar playing reverb is something you got to have if you get on amazon or even look up joyo on the web uh, you can come across joyo's pedals so for delay i got the joyo digital delay um, i haven't heard a ton of reviews about it but obviously it did not cost a fortune at all uh, it seems to be made really solidly um, it's got time repeat level uh, DC 9 volt power supply looks like you can also run it on a 9 volt battery like many pedals I don't really know how it sounds yet so I'm looking forward to plugging it up and uh, messing with it a bit but yeah looking forward to the Joyo digital delay very cool so another Joyo pedal I got is one thing that's really gonna bring the whole package together with this pedal board and this is the uh, Joyo AC tone and this is an amp simulation pedal. And Joyo makes a few different um, amp simulation pedals. I kind of listened to the ones that they make on YouTube, and to me, this one sounded the most friendly to worship music. What it's gonna do on the pedal board is it's gonna simulate uh, amplification. So it's got your typical three band uh, EQ knobs, low, mid, and high. It's got a level knob, a voice knob, which I guess is like a presence or a tone, and a drive knob and you just go right into it on your pedal board and then I'll be going out just through this regular quarter inch jack straight into a direct box and that should cover the sound of an amp. I think it's very important in an atmosphere where you're trying to control volume levels and sound levels. Uh, I think compression is very important on a pedal board like this, especially, you know, we're going to have different guys potentially play through these pedals uh, with different guitars and things. And so being able to compress it and make sure it's, it has the sound that we're going for is going to be great. What I have here is I looked around at compressors. What I actually went with is the Behringer CL9 compression pedal. Um, it's kind of a beautiful color. I don't know what to call this. It looks almost like Fiesta Red to me. 
Um, it's got your attack time and your sustain on it, and it's a it's actually they say it's a compressor limiter. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this does, and then it's got a level knob. Um, so that's going to be our compression. Another Behringer item I went with is the Behringer TU300 Chromatic Tuner because I heard that it was a good tuner, very similar to the Boss one that I used to use. It'll mute it in the system while you're tuning and everything. Uh, it looked like a really good product for an absolutely great price, so looking forward to checking that out. And then lastly, for drive, I was looking at a couple different things. I was looking at TC Electronics things, and then um, someone in a group of worship uh, leading guitar players told me about uh, this pedal, and I don't, I don't know if this is pronounced K-Line or Kayleen, uh, but this is the Kayleen Technology Pure Sky Overdrive. And my experience with pedals is that if it has the word sky in it, it's gotta be great. But I've actually heard that people have totally fallen in love with this drive pedal. So we're gonna rely on it uh, for our drive on this uh, Worship Ministries pedal board. Another cool thing about the, uh, the drive pedal here is that it came with its own power supply cable with a matching tip to it, which is pretty pretty neat. Always appreciate little details like that. For the board itself, I went with a pedal board from Donner. It's not very big, so I'll have to angle some of these a certain way. So here, here's what I'm planning to do is, I'm planning to have the pedals that the guitar player himself probably won't use too much, which will be the amp simulator, compression, and reverb. I'll probably have those up here, and then the ones that he will be stepping on a lot, like the tuner, uh, the drive, the delay, etc. Probably have those down here on the lower side and then have it neatly organized like that so that it won't be confusing no matter the player's skill level. Um, Donner's power supply adapter. Um, so we'll check that out and, and hopefully that'll work great. For patch cables, I went Diodario Planet Waves because at the moment I'm really digging these cables. Um, there are other cables out there that I'd like to try too, but um, I love Diodario Planet Waves cables. In fact, for the main cable for this setup, I went with a Diodario Planet Waves uh, cable. This is a 15-footer, um, and I just think they're great cables. So that's what I went with. So anyway, that's everything uh, that I got. And so episode two, I guess, is going to be when I kind of have this thing put together and see how it goes. So, and also um, I do want to get some reviews going of these individual products if I can. So stay tuned for some upcoming pedal reviews and an upcoming video to show you how the Worship Ministries pedal board turns out. Anyway, God bless you guys and thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to me on the internet um, or on YouTube, Rumbling Man, and uh, go on and like this video if you thought it was cool, uh, if you think the products were cool. If you didn't think the products are cool, uh, that's a bummer. Uh, tell me why in the comments. It's not necessarily the equipment that makes you sound good. It is, but I would rather have pretty good equipment and a knowledge of how to get a good tone out of it and, and what makes it sound good than have the greatest equipment out there but not have that knowledge. Um, I think it's very important to mess around with uh, pedals and, and gear for yourself and try to figure out you know what what really does sound good so I hope you'll uh, enjoy this journey of putting this uh, $300 uh, pedal board together for uh, for worship ministry purposes at the church yeah so it'll be fun um, also I'm on Facebook guys uh, facebook.com slash rumbling man so I would love to have you part of the uh, rumbling man uh, Facebook group I just try to post up about music and equipment and uh, other than that that's all I have for you today so God bless you all um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.